guys i have this lenovo k8 and we are experiencing a black screen at times the phone will just black out right i'm not sure if it's when the wi-fi is on but it seems to be happening at any random time the phone screen will just go blank and then it will just shut off by itself like that so the phone just shut off i connect it to the internet and it just shut off right it's not coming on unless you turn it back on and the same thing will happen again right so what we're going to do in this video to fix this we are going to perform a factory set and if you're experiencing any problem like this any system issue any black screen with your lenovo k8 what i recommend you doing i recommend you to reset your phone if you can by going to settings and you go in about or you can use the button combinations which for this version is volume up and power for certain phones it usually be the volume down and the power right but, but for most phones it's the volume up and the power so this can apply to other phones as well right so it can shut back off so i will leave off the wi-fi and let's take the wi-fi off if i go to settings here system you can see reset here you can reset the phone right away you can do it from there and also we can turn off the phone wait until the phone is completely off then we can press the volume button and also the power button simultaneously together keep holding the buttons together now you can see here for us to go into recovery mode we need to use the volume down to select the volume up to navigate so it is already on recovery so let's click down button to select this will take us straight into the recovery we are now into the recovery at this stage it says no command what you need to do you need to at least press the volume buttons either press the two of them together different phones will be different or you press the power button and the volume up you press the volume down and the power button just hold them for about three seconds right the reason for me to experiment here is because different phones give you different option to get into the android recovery mode so what we're going to do here we're going to wipe data factory reset before you do this ensure that your google account is out of your phone or just ensure that you know your google password because on setting up your phone system it may ask for your google account so we click yes this will format the phone and reset the phone as when you got it brand new then what we're going to do here we're going to reboot the system now They should fix all the issues that you are experiencing with the blacking out when you're doing stuff on the internet they should fix the problem if you still for some reason encountering the same issue i suggest that you flash your phone all right guys you will need to download the firmware for this phone 
right so you will need the model number for this phone so you can go to google here and you can type in firmware right so it's a kit it note firmware and you can download the firmware for free and after downloading you need you will need the flash tool to flash the system which this is here is sp flash tool and there are other videos on how you can flash your phone right guys so as you can see the phone is now booting up and the problem should be gone if you need to flash your phone for whatever reason I am just going to give you a walkthrough as to how you can flash your phone I will actually need to do a tutorial on this really but you can request it in the video but this is the software which is SP flash tool and normally you load the scatter file for the firmware here and you will see the different partition system files for the phone loaded in then you select format all plus download you ensure that the drivers are installed which is the mtk drivers and then you hit download so i can do that video if you request it in the comment down below also make sure to like this video and subscribe as well to my youtube channel for more helpful videos so do like share and subscribe guys i just put in my internet password and everything sh should be brand new everything should be working everything should be functioning properly i hope that this was helpful guys so do like do share and i hope that this was helpful to you